All right, in today's lecture, Graphics 103, we're going to discuss the key preview command. This is a little esoteric, but uh, it's an important um, and uh, not well-defined operation out there in cyberspace, so um, hopefully this will help a lot of people. We're going to pick up where we left off with 102, Graphics 102, where we had a picture box. I'll show you. I'm going to run it. Had a little picture box, and inside the picture box, we we're able to click on the picture box and then move our little object around with our left, right, up, and down keys. Notice that as I press my keyboard right up here, I have a little label that tells me what the key code is for every one of my actions. All right. So um, that's a little cumbersome to click on the picture box to begin. Oftentimes we use a button, so I'm going to click on this label here and I'm going to delete the label and I'm going to add a button seems like an easy operation Move the button to take its place I'm going to change the text of the button simply to go and I'm going to change the name of the button to btn the common prefix go easy enough All right. Now let's add code to the button. If we double click on the button, let's make it draw the picture box just like we do if the picture box was clicked. Draw picture box. All right. Let's run this code and test it. Okay. So now if I click on the go button, the picture box is drawn like we would expect, but now as I click on the keyboard, the arrow keyboards, uh, the arrow keys rather, or just the regular A, B, C, D keys, notice my key code label does not change. And this obviously is a problem. So let's fix it. The fix comes in four steps. So the first step in our four step process is to set the key preview property of the form you can see if we click on our design window the form has a key preview property right here and we could set it to true but I'll be more explicit and set it actually in the code window so I'm going to double click on the the form and I'm going to do it right here in the key, in the form load so the first thing I want to do is set me key preview equal to true okay that's going to uh, try to give the form precedence to set uh, or to, to grab any keystrokes and it's going to um, allow the form then to take precedence over our command button. And then I'd also like to come to the form one key down. Notice that we have a class key events arguments and we in this case are going to set the handled property to false and I bring this up because if you set this handled to true then uh, the form will handle all keyboard events and will not allow other controls to receive keyboard events we don't necessarily want that in this case but in case you did this is where you would do it you would set e handled equal to true All right. so let's run this program now you'll see it improves slightly if we click the go button now if I press say the ABC button notice that it is registered at least our form registers A, B, C and so on it registers any keystroke from the regular keyboard but the up arrows here I go I'm going to press the up arrows and the down arrows and the left and the right arrows are not registered we told the form to take control of any keystrokes but still these special keys the up and the down arrows are reserved for um, other controls Right. So we could, for example, make a game where you press the um, A, W, S, Z key, for example, to go up, down, left, and right, but I think most users would prefer to use the arrows, and so let's fix that right now. To fix it, it's somewhat simple. We need to come here and choose our button go. We're going to write commands for it, and then we're going to choose a different method we want to choose the key down method so that now when the keyboard is pressed the button will take control of the, 
the uh, arrow keys and of course we do not want that to happen we want the the form to take control of that so we're going to simply write an if then statement if r e dot key code for example equals up or oops sorry that's one word or else the line continuation character makes it easy to read e dot key code equals right or else uh, no spaces e dot key code equals up oh sorry we just did that down or else e dot key code equals left then what we'd like to do is we'd like to um, suppress so e dot suppress key press equals false okay and then we want to add one more bit of code we're still in the button but this one this time we want to change our method to preview key down alright so this took me a little while to figure out so I'm hoping that it helps you oh actually what we can do save some time is we can just copy this code the if then statement paste it here it's not going to look right so I'm going to tab it over it's not necessary but it certainly does make it easier to read and then I want to get rid of this e dot key press line and we want it to be e dot is input key we want to set that to true alrighty so forgive my position there alright so now if we run it the code should work perfectly Okay, we press the go button the form opens as always but now our left and right arrows yay they work again of course the A, B and C buttons work as well and so we have complete control of our form again using the key, key press it's a lot of work for um, a little bit of, uh, of, re of a result but I think that the, that the user is going to really appreciate having the arrow keys on our graphics um, video game Anyway, that concludes Graphics 103. Uh, next time we will show you how to use a timer control to make a ball bounce around the screen.